Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, Gary Dean here, Infinity Custom Works. I'm at my shop in Holiday, Florida today. And this will be the first paint job I will have done on a vehicle on this channel. So as most of you guys know, if you've been following me for a long time, about three years ago, I started to make the transition into a custom shop and not just a detail shop. And I just, got to the point in my detailing career where I just wanted more. Detailing isn't enough. Restoring things is awesome, but I just wanted to do more. And through the years, I have done more. I've been painting for probably 10 years now. Um, nothing every day, obviously, because, well, I have other businesses and that kind of thing. But I have made the transition in the past three years to my custom shop, and I've done maybe 10 full resprays out of here, uh, out of this shop. I've been in this shop just over a year. Um, but I've probably produced about 10 paint jobs out of this in the past year and a half, well, a year and three months I've been in this shop. And um, I just love to paint. I love body work. I love um, rest restoring things. I love metal fabrication. I love building my Foxy Drop campers. I just love to build and make things. And so painting is something that I can apply to literally everything that I do and the automotive world. So with this forerunner, let, let me let me show it to you. All right, so this is a, I think it's a 91 forerunner. <clears throat> anyway, it was brought to me last week for just a full respray. Um, we are not gonna be pulling pieces off of these older jobs because all that does is put you in a position to literally have to replace trim nine times out of ten when you do that you have to get an aftermarket piece especially on older vehicles like this and the problem with the aftermarket uh, repops is that they don't fit properly so on these older restorations i prefer to just re take off the simple stuff like we we took off the roof rack and that kind of thing. Oh, actually, it was brought to me, taken off. And um, they took off the rear bumper for me. But everything else is going to be literally taped up. Um, I'm probably going to take that Toyota badge off. I'm actually going to look in there and see if there's pins holding it or what's going on. Um, but I'm going to tape up all this stuff. We did remove the rear wing, that rack, the um, bumper there. Uh, I just, you can see this line of dust from the rubber wheel that I just used to remove the vinyl decal on this side. But I wanted to show you the condition of the paint and what it looked like before, before I really get into this thing and start sanding on it. But um, this decal is incredibly old and a lot of it didn't even come off with the rubber, so I'm gonna have to sand it. I'm gonna make sure, we're not putting a decal back on there, so I'm gonna have to make sure it's all flat and you can't see it through the new uh, paint. So I removed that decal already to the best of my ability with the rubber wheel. I still gotta do some rubber wheeling, get rid of this off, this uh, stuff, sticky nastiness. Uh, that was from the auto vent shields that it had on it. But I'm going to be taping up the handles. I'm going to be taping up all the trim around the windows. Um, I may or may not, depending on how hard they are to get off, I'll probably pull out the taillights and probably that piece. Um, this is what that other decal looked like. It's all sun faded and looks bad. Uh, the owner uh, basically flips these old Toyotas uh, and... We're basically going to prep it for him to resell it. Uh, and if you know anything about older Toyotas that are well kept, this thing is awesome. They bring all the money. Um, you've got a little bit of an issue from fuel hitting the uh, paint back here. So we'll get that straight. Um, I'm gonna probably pull off these caps on the side steps, but I'm not gonna remove the, the side steps again. I'm gonna look into these things and if they are easy and not binding when I take them off or I potentially could break them, I will take them off. I'm not going to take off the front bumper. 
Um, I may or may not take off that grill. Uh, the owner was telling me about some clips that are probably going to break when I pull it off. And I'm not doing that. It's not what we do around here. Plus, he's he's looking to make this thing look amazing and sell it. So we're doing a base coat, clear coat. This is um, Toyota 179 dark gray metallic is the paint code. And uh, yeah, so I'm going to tape it up. I am going to scuff it up and then we're gonna spray it. I gotta get rid of a couple little dings here. So I'm gonna do some body work here. And I've got to strip, prime, base and clear the hood and the whole roof. As you can see, it looks like crap. So I wanna get, um, get it all sanded up. I'm gonna start with some 320, uh, see where that takes me, get it all smoothed out and then see where we're at. But like I said, I'm going to have to strip, prime, then base clear the roof and the hood. And then everything else is getting scuffed and sprayed. So you see it before. And I will obviously show you after. So there we go. All right, I'm gonna get some stuff done. I will probably bring you back to uh, show you what I finish up today. Um, I'm gonna try to get all the body work done today. Get all the taping done by end of day tomorrow and then I should be able to spray it on, on the third day. And then the fourth day, I will assess the clear coat for orange peel if it's a satisfactory le level i will leave it um, if it is ridiculous i will probably either spot cut and buff or just do the whole car so we sh we shall see once it's laid down and we'll go from there so stay tuned i'll bring you back when i've got some work done 